Hello, welcome to the Tomcat 6 installation in service presentation. My name is John and I'll be walking you through this. First, the agenda. The agenda is we're going to go through the process involved in downloading and installing Tomcat 6 as well as testing it to verify that it's been installed correctly. And then we're going to go through a video walkthrough. Okay, the process. Bring up your browser on Windows. That would be Internet Explorer or Firefox. And on Apple or Macs, that would be Safari. Once your browser is up, go to the Tomcat homepage at tomcat.apache.org. And we're going to be going to the download section. There, we're going to click on a zip under the binary distributions area. And we'll download the core binary distribution as a zip. And after downloading it, we'll unpack it to an area on our file system. Uh, once this is done, we'll probably need to set some environment variables, Java underscore home, which is the location of your Java developer kit, or and or the uh, Catalina underscore home. Now, these environment variables are set using standard methodologies depending on what your operating system is. It's differently done on a Windows platform than it is on a Linux or Apple platform. So because they're so different, we're going to do those in a different in-service. Let's continue. Okay, once we've got it installed, we're going to go ahead and run a, a shell script uh, on a Mac environment or a Linux environment or a batch file on a Windows environment. And once that script is run, we bootstrap our Tomcat server and we can point our browser to our local Tomcat server and verify that yes indeed it's been up it's been brought up correctly. So let's go ahead with the walkthrough. Okay, I bring up the Safari browser on my Apple. There's the Tomcat logo and here is the site tomcat.apache.org. We'll go to the Tomcat area, we'll click on Tomcat 6. And we're going to go to the quick navigation under there to get us to the download area. And we're interested in the uh, core distribution. So we're going to save the zip file to the file system. Here I'm saving it to a temporary area. It really doesn't matter where you save it, as it's only a placeholder until we're done unpacking it, after which you can get rid of it as you uh, find convenient. So it started downloading. So about a six megabyte download, and on this machine right now, it estimates about one minute of download time. So we've got a second or two. So what we can do is um, go to the directory where we intend to install it. And on my system, I have a subdirectory prepared, software slash Jakarta slash Tomcat. And I already have a couple of Tomcat installations here. One's even a 6.0 installation, but no matter, we're going up to 6.0.20. And I'll try and download it or unzip the file now. Um, and it appears that it's still not completely downloaded. And it looks like we have about another half a minute or so to download. Tomcat's um, a pretty lightweight application server and a uh, servlet container. And the price is right, it's free under the Apache license. There's great documentation and a decent user guide. Lots of functionality, most of which you probably won't need to be aware of um, unless you're involved in administering it. Okay, so we're done on. on uh, downloading the file now we'll unzip the file using the unzip command on this Linux or this Apple machine and it would be a little bit different on your machine if it's Windows box and it creates a subdirectory called Apache hyphen Tomcat hyphen 6.0.20 and underneath that and I verify that it's there underneath that subdirectory is uh, a number of directories that Tomcat manages 
and some files. Uh, if we look at these, there's also a, a file that specifies the notes, the release notes, the bin directory, which holds the um, configure or the scripts, the conf holds configuration information. The lib directory is new in Tomcat 6 because that used to be um, made up of several subdirectories, uh, commons, server, etc., on the old Tomcat 5 area. And the web apps. Web apps holds our web applications uh, when we deploy our web application. Now, the, the files under the bin directory are made up of .sh extended files and .bat extended files. Those files are shell scripts or batch files. The .sh are for Apple or Linux environments, and the uh, .bat are batch files for uh, Windows environments. And if I look at Catalina.sh, which is our main executable, our main launch point for Tomcat, I see that it doesn't have executable privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and change the mod on that to add some executable privileges and verify that it's been set up correctly. On a Windows machine, you wouldn't have to do this because you deal with BAT files. And I see that X in the, in the uh, privileges there. Everything's looking good. So now, let's um, have another look at these files briefly. And before we um, actually test our system, let's go ahead and, and move over to the configuration area. And here you'll see a number of files. One of them that's very important is server.xml. That's your main configuration file. It specifies things like security constraints, realms, um, and the port numbers of usage. Now we're going to kick off Tomcat. And it shows us some interesting uh, environment parameters. Catalina underscore home, JRE underscore home, which happens to be derived from a Java underscore home if you have the JDK installed. And it takes about uh, 600 milliseconds, a little over half a second, to bootstrap a fresh Tomcat 6 installation pretty quick. And we can uh, bring up our browser now to verify that it's, it's available to our uh, users. To do that, we go to the browser and we start typing in uh, HTTP colon slash slash localhost. On most boxes, it would be 8080. Uh, on this, I happen to have it set to 9080. Uh, and you can see a little kind of uh, magic here because it's going to look like it's on 8080, but that's actually just a cached page. So I'm going to go back here and modify the port number for me to 9080. And now I can go to some local documentation. You can see it's specified at localhost instead of the Apache website. And the unlike uh, mail archives or forum archives, which actually goes out onto the internet. Okay, so that's the walkthrough for starting, for installing uh, Tomcat. And one thing that's even easier is bringing Tomcat down. Because all you have to do here is do control C. There it is, control C, and it shows the components of Tomcat stopping, pausing, stopping, stopping, and you dropped your listener. So that's it. We downloaded and installed Tomcat, and we have um, checked it out and verified that it worked. Hope you enjoyed that. This in-service has been sponsored by a grant from Tucson Technics, Engineering Young Minds in Technology since 2007.